people made some money. So this is this is the next thing that I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So zero point ten, someone made two more than two K in just one trade, in just a few minutes trading the NFP. So this takes me back to what I wanna say. Yeah, 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 what's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fusi Max channel, you know what I'm saying, the supreme traders way, it's the money way, if it's not about the money, I wouldn't be here, you wouldn't be here, you know what I'm saying, so let's do what we're here to do, you know what I'm saying, do this if you want to kill the CPI next week, you know what I'm saying, okay, so first things first, first we're not going to teach you guys about investing.com, we already spoke about that thing so many times in my channel, also I'm not going to teach you guys again about the CNBC, app you know what i'm saying this is where you need to exist you understand this is where you need to your life is it has to be here if you're a fundamental trader this is where you're gonna get your news calendar so to get your news calendar you're gonna go to invest in your com creator profile so you're gonna go to news as you can see there's news stock markets right, right. so you're gonna go to economy calendar that's what that's what we need we don't need anything else we just need the economy calendar and this is what we need from investing.com you know so in terms of your economy calendar i'm gonna go through this first because there's already a video we've done to, based on how to cover this you understand so you're gonna only look at the red folder news the filters are already done for me the ones with the three stars those are those are the all, all the only events that you need to focus on so with the cpi somewhere around next week so you can just go there and look at your data and your times and then you know you're ready right so that's your step one so for step two if ever you know you don't want to get shaken out of trades um without knowing what's going on or you know you don't want to get caught in the wrong side of um, volatility after you open your trades then you need to go to your cnbc open a profile also and have your watch list for the next 100 uh, movers i have the full detailed um demonstration on how to set that thing up in the video i'm gonna link uh, below to that video i'm going to put the link to that video also go check that out so you can have that so as soon as long as you're trading last 100 us 30 us 500 you need to have this so that you can check the news that are going on this for as long as you are holding trades right when you're not holding trades that's really matter you know what i'm saying so let's move to step three hey fam this video has been made possible by paripesa.com paripesa is a sports betting website but they don't just do sports betting only understand among other things there's entertaining games like crash and stuff like that which is where i spend <laughs> most of my time when i'm not trading you understand so i'm just gonna demonstrate it guys for you guys real quick so guys as much as it would be my pleasure to explain everything i think it's better if i'm just demonstrating i'm saying wait actually most of my time goes when i'm not on these charts or making these videos for you guys so i'm telling you guys as soon as i'm bored a little bit or as soon as i'm not on the charts because i'm not on the charts the whole day I just fund a little bit, play some games, and it's been growing to a point where I haven't even had to fund for a long time right now because I'm just playing and I'm actually on a winning streak right now. You know what I'm saying? So I want to take this account to 50k. You know what I'm saying? 50k. Anybody who wants to join me on the road to 50k, listen, use the link in the description box below and use Max 100 to get a 100% on your first deposit. Let's take it from 5k to 50k, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you guys think, but personally, you can see already me, I'm pushing. So if you want to join me and we can, you know what I'm saying? I also, I also get you merch, you know what I'm saying? We can spend the Paripesa money, you know what I'm saying? Just find and let's go ahead and milk them a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I organize a day for you guys for a bonus. So shout out to Paripesa Ben for plugging the boy and holding me down good. So listen, guys, go register and let's do the most together, you know what I'm saying? So for our step three, we're gonna open the NAS 100 charts. So what you're gonna do, this is usually what, this is my strategy for, for fundamentals. And say, I go to a higher time frames. When I go to my higher time frames, I'm gonna look for key levels. You just need to have your key levels drawn, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, my charts already has some levels uh, currently drawn. So as you can see, this is when we traded the uh, NFP. The NFP, we traded it on Friday, last Friday. So if you can go, there was a level here. And you can see there was a buying structure there so if i open our m30 minutes yeah i feel like this video is all over the place but i'm just trying to you know what i'm saying if you open our m30 you can see where the level there and i sent the signal for buying we're gonna go to thing because then you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show my receipts basically is what i'm, saying. I'm gonna show my receipts this was the nfp signal as you can see guys here this was the nfp signal minus 100 don't use your site account don't use your side only use your side account don't use your main account and this is the signal you know what i'm saying and this is the result 
This is the results from people, you know what I'm saying? Can I open this? This is the result, you know what I'm saying? So people made some money. People made some money. So this is this is the next thing that I want to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So 0.10, someone made two more than 2K in just one trade, in just a few minutes trading the NFP. So this takes me back to what I want to say. So you guys should make sure you have your site accounts, right? Don't trade uh, such fundamental news on your main account. You need to have your site account so that it doesn't... Because listen, this trade, when you're, going, when you're trading NFPs, the CPIs, or uh, FOMC, uh, the any other minutes, you understand? And when you're trading those uh, those type of red folder news, it's very easy for, an, for your account to get wiped, you understand? Even if you're using your 0.01 depends on how much you have in your set in your account right so i wouldn't want you to work let's say you're working with me probably under my mentorship or whatever so you grow an account from for about a month or two months your account is growing and then come the fundamentals now come the nfp or the cpi you use that account to trade when it can go south you understand it even goes south for me sometimes i think i missed uh before this nfp the previous one i think it was a miss understand so i know i can use my side account and save my main account so how do you do this you're going to take a certain amount of money let's say if my set if my main account is about 10k let's say my main account is 10k i can take 1k and fund my my side account and you see with these brokers right sign up with the recommended broker link is in the description box below but you see with the with the with these brokers you can have Diff you can have a different account you can have a lot of trading accounts under the same profile so you don't have to withdraw and deposit again you just have to withdraw to your wallet and then move some funds to uh, another account use that account even if it's just 1k you can make from 1k guys you can make about uh, 3000 rands or 5000 rands just from 1000 rands trading such news so you see it's not a risk i wouldn't advise you to take your whole 10k and fund into an account that you're gonna use for what for fundamentals you understand so i know someone is probably gonna think listen if i found with 10k and if i use my whole 10k trading news i might just make 50k possible very, very much possible but also think you might just lose 10k you understand so it's not a way to be consistent that one because you're gonna now have to build that account from the ground up again so what i do I take a, I can take a week's profit and then fund into hey but a week's profit is too much it's too much for me guys I can take I can take a certain percent maybe five percent or ten percent of my main account and then just take it to a side account and then scale full margin full margin way scale all into the into the NFP trade or CPI trade or that event that I want to trade scale everything so that once it takes off I know like I'm um, I'm chilling, you understand? So that's what I want you guys to also do. Try it out. Don't use a main account for fundamentals. Just find a side, a side account. You understand? That's going to be your... F I feel like you should have a price action account and if, um, or a technical analysis account and also a fundamentals account. Keep those things separate. Your fundamentals should have the least amount of money because you can even trade micros and stuff. So even if you have 500 rands, guys, which is $30, you can easily flip that into $100 or more to trading such events so i wouldn't want you guys to think if you know guys even if you don't trade anything you just trade fundamentals you can still make money just find your 250 your 500 rands trade these events you covered you understand you can make more money than someone who's losing every day trying to uh, chase price and technicals and all these other things you can make some money just from there so this is why i think the fundamental side of trading this year, more especially this year, has been on the rise more than people have been promoting that more than um, raw price action trading. You understand? So that's just a little word from me. You know what I'm saying, you guys think about it. Let me know what you guys think, right?